Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Palladium continues to be on fire, and it has now surged to new record highs on tight fundamentals. This particular article comes to us from CNBC, but I've been paying attention to the prices of palladium, and the other precious metals seem to be kind of creeping up a bit, but palladium especially, we're going to explore that a little bit. Also, was sent uh, some information and with a f f similar article from Chris Garner. But let's take a look at this. This comes to us from Reuters on CNBC. Palladium has surpassed the $1,400 mark for the first time on Thursday. It's actually creeped back a little bit since the publishing of this video. As the demand from, from the auto catalyst metal overtook its availability in the market, while gold edged lower as the dollar gained, on better-than-expected U.S. jobs data. Spot palladium gained 2.35% to 1391 per ounce as of 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time, having earlier hit its all-time high of $1,434.50 and rising more than 10% so far this month. The palladium market is laboring under production consumption deficits, said James Steele, precious metals analyst at H. SBC. Adding to Palladium's appeal were policy initiatives to help support demand that were unveiled by China, the biggest automaker, Steele said. The price of Palladium, used mainly in emissions reducing catalysts for vehicles, has jumped more than 70% since hitting a its a uh, tro in mid-August. The metal overtook gold in price terms for the first time in 16 years, a uh, late last year. We are seeing steady buying in modest amounts, just no supply and no one willing to sell because you don't know where it will stop, said Tai Wong, head of the base in precious metal derivatives trading at BMO. Holdings in Palladium Exchange Traded Funds, tracked by Reuters, have nearly halved from January last year as prices rose. There is not sufficient supply in the market, so people are purchasing metals from the ETFs. Doesn't that sound familiar? Said Samson Lee, a Hong Kong-based precious metal analyst and Refinitiv at GFMS. And, you know, you think about that. And if there's not enough supply in the market, so people are purchasing metals from the ETFs. That seems like what's been going on with silver and gold for quite some time. And that kind of explains some of the price suppression, I think, and, and, and manipulation that we uh, have witnessed for so long. And I think that's kind of comes into play. But, you know, with that being said, palladium is a very rare metal, even rarer than platinum. And platinum is up from about 20 to 50 times rarer than gold. And considering it is used uh, almost solely for catalytic purposes and industrial uses, this kind of doesn't surprise me. But what about platinum? Could it be used as a catalyst as well to um, in exchange for uh, palladium? Why have we not seen the price of platinum go up? Let's take a look at this chart to see. This is the chart as of uh, the recording of this video here. We are seeing uh, palladium up, you know, over $100 more than gold now. Um, platinum is still, by all intents and purposes, pretty low. It's not really done a whole lot of movement um, since the um, since we started kind of the surge of the precious metal prices. It's up a little bit, but not a whole lot. And uh, with considering the price of palladium, you know, I think it's probably going to be time for a, a pl platinum group metals war between the two, even though palladium may be serve better, I guess, in gasoline vehicles uh, than, than platinum. Maybe they refit because it, it was for the longest time, palladium was a lot cheaper than platinum. So uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see how its rise has, has occurred. Let's take a look at the palladium charts here and see what they're telling us and what kind of action of movement has occurred over such a period. Here over one year, uh, we're seeing, you know, it did, it was, it was uh, about a year ago, it was over $1,100 an ounce, but if we take a look at the fundamentals over the past 10 years, we can see that, uh, you know, where it was, especially back during before the, uh, the, the crisis of 2000, right after the crisis of 2008, 2009, 
Look where it was at. Crazy. Look how low it was. 200 bucks. Amazing. And then uh, we look here and it's been hovering well under well under a thousand dollars for quite some time through the years and uh, so now we're seeing it creep way up and but this is really only temporary I think folks and so <clears throat> my guess is probably those who invest in precious metals and I say invest because with these speculative type holdings such as palladium and in some cases even platinum you know they're not really used as money they're not seen in the same way that gold and silver are and and especially considering uh, where the future is for the automotive industry you know moving more towards uh, electric vehicles you're probably gonna see the use of palladium decrease in time how soon will that be who knows China being the largest automaker you know it could be quite a while before we see the prices go back down but they're very high now and it's crazy just to to think about you know where they're at and um, and if you have any holdings of palladium at all is this a time to sell um, it's anybody's guess we shall see is it a time to sell before platinum catches up with it the article does continue on here how gold had fell 0.07 percent to 1292 a 51 per ounce with a psychological resistance of 1300 holding a solid roof over its head and just quite can't quite hit that level yet but I think it's inevitable at this point I believe we're gonna see it go up through even though these job numbers came out uh, um, apparently that's what we're talking about gold dipped after a good jobless claims number from the United States Mint and has not recovered since now the dollar is grinding higher with yields backing up further weighing on the metal BMOs Wong said the greenback ticked up Thursday after stronger than expected economic data reports, while the pound stabilized as British poly policymakers sought consensus on how to exit the European Union. You know, the uh, that is another issue that is an unknown as to how that's going to work out. There's a lot of, uh, you know, there, now there's no confidence in, in Theresa May's government, and she may not hold her position there as a prime minister. We shall see. My feeling is for the uh, for the United Kingdom, they voted to get out, um, and my feeling is they should just vote to leave with really no deal. Would probably be, would be better in many cases than than uh, what was offered or or uh, submitted as a possibility. You know, with uh, different levels and actions, which really kind of make them more dependent on the European Union, even though there would have been an exit. The metal prices remain supported by a very variety of factors, including a prolonged partial U.S. government shutdown, possible pause in the U.S. Federal Reserve's rate hike cycle, and concerns surrounding Brexit and how that's going to hold out. And we'll see how that all plays out. Um, but it is fascinating that we've not seen this switch yet between platinum and palladium. And I feel that probably in time we will see especially if platinum remains low, that uh, Chinese automakers may retool to be able to use platinum as a catalyst because it's far cheaper than palladium right now. And we'll see how that all plays out. But it is fascinating to see how palladium's rise has really overtaken. And we'll kind of uh, see how it plays out from here. So, yeah, it's going to be fascinating. Platinum and palladium, I believe, will be at war with each other. It just depends on how they can make those uh, refit uh, their processes, their manufacturing processes in order to meet the demand. Platinum was very valuable for the use of, of a catalyst for diesel engines. Palladium is better suited for gasoline engines, but could platinum be retrofitted to be used for gasoline engines? We'll see. That's the, that's the biggest use um, and the, the highest demand is in the auto industry, but there's other catalytic uh, processes that can be use as well so it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out but uh, post your thoughts below and what you think about this situation with uh, palladium and its surge in prices do you think it's going to be maintained for quite a while or do you think it's just a fly-by-night thing it will uh, fall by the wayside and uh, move on into the ether so to speak as uh, as a lot of the more fuel efficient and 
cleaner fuel technology as far as and electric vehicles come on par and how long before China uses that information because or uses that technology because here in the United States we may move and afford in that direction then it may not be feasible for China to do so at this point in time at least with the majority of the cars which means that car manufacturing could actually increase um, over there and increase the demand for it for quite some time timing of that is one is is something to consider for, for how that will be how that will play out so there's a lot of factors involved and it could be that palladium could hold that spot for quite some time so post your thoughts below I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate comment and subscribe